Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing something so exciting. I am in the process of learning how to scuba dive. So I'll take you along. Enjoy. Good morning. It is almost 11 a.m. So it's good morning. How are you doing? Uh, it's been a very in eventful morning, so I couldn't do this earlier. But join me as we go to the alley. It's a free show. Hello, I'm still at it with the scuba classes. I am now learning about two boats and their terminologies. Yeah, I learned geography, I learned history, I learned physics. Now I'm learning about boats and their terminologies. That is how intense this thing is. That's how intense it is. But yeah, let's keep learning. Keep learning. It's the 7th of May, 2023. I think it's a month since I started doing these classes now. Tomorrow we start the real thing with teachers and other people being involved. I have read that I need to trade for 10 minutes or swim 200 meters or swim with a snorkel for 300 meters. So I'm gonna try and practice with a snorkel today for 300 meters so that tomorrow when I'm going there I'm already ahead so that I get approved immediately so I can start those classes ASAP because I'm not so sure I can trade. Remember I learned how to swim last year I don't think I can also I haven't been practicing so I don't think I can trade for 10 minutes straight with no stopping so yeah, that's, that's the plan for today. I'm going to try and finish this and then go look for snorkels and snorkel for practice snorkeling, pretty much. Or I'll practice using the snorkel thing. Breathing through my mouth is what I need to practice today. So that tomorrow, 300 meters, easy, done. Next. <laughs> anyway, let me get back to school. A few moments later. Finally, brethren. Finally. <laughs> Finally done with that. Oh, it's such a long one. It's taken me, I think, a week and a half to get through it. I'm done. The rest are easy to run through, so I think I'm gonna be done with the rest in the course of today so that tomorrow I can do confined swimming, confined diving classes. Yeah, so yay, done with being a diver. It's in all the sections, it is the longest it takes. It has been taking me a week or so to finish the being a diver subsection in every section. But I'm done with this being a diver 3! We are now at Safari Hotel Beach, we, where Ocean Tribe is housed. So we need to get to the reception of this place and then go to the side of the beach where we will find my school. <laughs> so I'm going to look for school. I want to know my teachers today, kind of, because tomorrow is when we start confined swimming classes and stuff and it would be good if I am familiar with everything before then. So let's go do that. Oh, the ocean is beautiful. 
and the diver sign if you can see it it's over there so we heard it that is my school doesn't look like a serious school <laughs> if that is school then i'm here to learn i guess it's cool in front of a beach who wouldn't want that I just left school. So I just came from Paddy, or rather Ocean Tribe, because that's um, the local contractor, so to speak. And I will be coming back tomorrow at 9 a.m. Uh, the my instructor already met him i don't know if he'll be willing to be on camera so maybe i'll mention his name when he's willing to be on camera but the moment my instructor said that i will be able to finish because i'm almost done with my literature at least section three i will be able to do my confined swimming classes tomorrow all day until around 2 p.m and i'm done and then the next two days will be the real dive so let's wait and see how that goes i'll let you know how that goes tomorrow just finished section three finally three months later it feels like it it's only been a week and a half i think so section four will be done tomorrow after i've done my confined swimming classes because i don't think what is on section four will be used tomorrow per se it will obviously be used in the um open water scuba classes so I'll learn that before I go to my open water scuba classes on Tuesday. But yay, I'm all done, done with this cold. It is Monday morning and it's scuba diving classes, confined classes day. And we've been picked and ready to go and learn how to breathe in water. Yeah, this one's fit. I'm now dressed. And let's do this. First things first, get the hair out of our face. Mm -hmm. We learned that uh, when you're not diving, you shouldn't wear your suit, your exposure yeah, yeah, suit, yeah, to avoid overheating. So that's why I'm like this for now. And then I need to go dive, then I'll wait all the way up. Here. front, but because you are landing, the easiest way is to stay behind. Hold your regulator like this. The breathing hose pipes on your right. Low and fair hose pipe and the air gauge on the left. Then this screw goes through there, and then this valve sees the orange here. So what you have to do is hold it like this. Make sure as you hold it. Don't leave me here. 
done a whole class of figuring out how to put this thing together. I think you just saw me do that. I am now headed to the water itself to see if I can really get this going. I've learned that I can breathe with this thing. Where's my thing? Sorry, not that one. This one. I'm breathing. Awesome. I'm excited. I have carried the heaviest thing ever. Heavier than me. Oh. Oh. And I have my fins. I'm good. Confined water classes begin now. Oh my goodness. Sour. A few moments later. <laughs> Just from confined classes, class one. It's almost four hours in. So much to learn. I didn't take any footage. I'm learning and I can't be learning and recording. That's not how it works. So, especially if I'm learning to stay alive. So, I learned a few things i can now breathe in water yay i will do this again maybe tomorrow or later today we'll see uh it's already 1 p.m we'll see uh getting back our gear into the shop it's so heavy oh yeah about to get there so yeah Day one of confined swimming scuba classes are, are done. It was a lot. <laughs> uh, the idea of learning how to breathe in water, it's easy, it's really nice and seamless. However, being that it's my first time doing it ever in my life, it felt like a lot. <laughs> it felt like I'm breathing in so much. I was like, <sighs> Instead of, you know, easier said than done. I mean, theory says, breath, but when you're really there and it's your life you're fighting for, or so it seems, then you're, and then of course, after some time you get used to that, and then it was easy to just breathe. Breathing was easy. The exercises that we got to do were intense some of them some are very easy and I got them uh, uh, the first try the one that really got to me and I had to do 20 times was filling my mask with water and releasing it because that is something that would definitely happen um, in any situation so you need to know how to release the water from your mask lest you become disoriented and uncomfortable in the depth of the ocean or the sea so I somehow got it I don't know if I'm a hundred percent there yet with that um, but I'll try again tomorrow because we still have uh, confined, confined swimming classes tomorrow so we're gonna try that tomorrow again and yeah for now I'm gonna do section 4 and try and finish it it's now 3 p.m. you can finish it by 6 I'll be a happy girl so that tomorrow I can just do section five after the the classes, the confined swimming scuba classes, and uh, when we get to do the open water dives, I'll be done with the theory part of scuba. But I'm happy I got to do that. I'm happy that. Um, it's one though. I wanted to give an analogy or example of when I started driving. Um, the first few days I'll get to my destination exhausted. Yet it's such a simple skill for people who've done it already and they've been doing it. Because I'll see people driving and they don't look tired. And I was like, why do people drive? This thing is exhausting. But it's the same thing as scuba diving. It's exhausting because it's a new skill I'm trying to learn and comprehend and you know survive, try to save my life as I do it or try to stay alive as I do it so obviously it's gonna be intense 
but once the skill is mastered and the um, information overload is not happening in the brain, then it's easy to just process one particular item at a time. But yeah, so looking forward to tomorrow, looking forward to more confined classes and uh, finishing my sections and then the real dive on uh, Wednesday. Yes! I think this is a good place to end this vlog today. So join me next weekend as we go for our second confined swim scuba classes and maybe get the open water classes as well in that. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing and sharing with your friends. I will see you next weekend. Bye.